welcome back. Look, you haven't seen this beautiful, handsome face in a long time. Hi there. Uh, he even semi-shaved for me. So, welcome to my video corner. We are trying to improve things for this new kind of era of Silly Farm. As you know, 2014 marked my 10-year anniversary of this place. So, I'm trying to take it up a notch because that's what it's all about. You should be on the constant mission to improve. So, we got new equipment. He taught me all about fantastic Final Cut Pro. So I'm working on it, praying that it comes out good and you'll give me your feedback. So in addition to everything that's going on here, um, it's also summer and it is hot as balls outside. So these are my rules for the summer when face painting. Make it quick because chances are it's going to sweat right off. and uh, and it, But still make it look good because these are my customers who I want to retain throughout the years. So last weekend when I was face painting an event, a so I whipped out my favorite Artie cake. This is the, and I know how crazy, right? This one is my favorite one. It is the Bright Leaf because I use it for dragons. I use it, and I kind of figured out how to do this half face monster design, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And then he doesn't know this, oh. but because he has, we're going to do half of a face. I was also doing an adult party the other day, and the internet has been blazing with so many amazing ideas. I left the convention just rejuvenated with ideas, so I'm going to show you guys another design that I was doing all night long for this adult party and it's it's a little girly so we'll just do kind of like Beauty and the of Beast. Of course it is. Of is course it is. Little Beauty and the Beast here? He can't. Oh. Okay so let's get started guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is load your arty brush pretty generously. So this is a three-fourths flat brush, and I'm just going to rub it over the surface of my arty cakes. Press pretty good. You want to pick up a nice amount of paint so that you don't have to keep on reloading, okay? And wait. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to follow it around. And you want to make sure that the black is on the outside because that is your outline. That's the cool part about your arty cakes. So I'm going to start here on his, the, the beginning of his eyebrow. I'm going to come up and I'm going to kind of wiggle it so that it's not 100% straight. And then once I get to his cheekbone, you can feel it right here. I'm just going to bring it in just like that. Okay. Right underneath it I'm going to again start with the black and I just bring that down right underneath his chin here. Here's I'm just bringing down this again the same line trying to match it. Uh, the black stays as your outline just like that. So now the cool part is that you have pretty much most of your outline. Great. So I'm loading it again just back and forth and notice I'm not going to pick up as many colors but I can still use this um, as a nice outline so turn your head a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first just kind of come up create that angry lifted eye right inside of here and then again making sure that the black is on the outside I'm going to create that hook on his nose right there and then I'm also so if you're going to be creating any teeth on him which we will again I'm just going to create uh, that outline right then and there so that I don't have to go back in later and because this area is usually sunken in okay you can still use your brush to kind of go in and drag it down to make it a little bit darker in that area okay so I picked up a little bit of flash green on my sponge, just like this, and then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just kind of fill in any of those areas that are not colored in. See how fast I filled that in and it's starting to like kind of come together for me, which is something I really like. Now the next thing you're going to see me do is you're going to see me pull out what? My favorite what? stuff. What? what? These are my BAM stencils and I love them because they add fast texture. And so I'm just going to load the other side of my sponge with a little bit of a dark green or you can do brown or you could do whatever color that you want. Um, and then this is kind of like a broken up cells. So I'm just going to add a little bit here, a little bit here as well, closer to the edge. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of a darker color right inside of there bring it right below his eye in there too as well 
just to kind of make it a little bit more menacing right inside of there. Now, last things that we're really going to do is just embellish, add some teeth right inside of here, and add some stitches, some blood. Who doesn't love blood? Do you like blood? Of course. Hello. Exactly. Right along, turn a little bit this way, right along this line, we're just going to create some stitches. Some of them you can cross if you want them to. So the reason that I do my stitches now is to allow them time to dry because I am going to outline them with a little bit of black. So you okay, so if you've watched Fava TV, which I hope everybody is doing, our one of our live classes with Jay Bautista, he talked about this area right here. So this is the area that you can really bring out the eyes more than anything else. So you want to be practicing those. Jay, you would be so proud of me. I go to sleep watching your class even though I got that part wrong. <laughs> okay. So I'll start here and your eyebrows kind of like a good indicator of where to start. So I'm just going to kind of start creating those 11s where I'm coming out using the, the corner of the eye as my guideline. Just like that to kind of embellish it a little bit more. And then again, I would just kind of outline the mouth right inside of here. Now what I like to do is I like to pull out my trusty filber brush to make those teeth because they're already the perfect kind of teeth marking uh, size. So I'll mm -hmm. make my first tooth here and you usually little boys don't have this kind of stubble so you'll have a little bit of an easier time creating those teeth. Oops, that one went up a little bit but that's okay. I can just cover that. And then these will come down. So I got those teeth right in there. I'm gonna fix that little mistake that I made. So I'll just go right on top of them, kind of give their underbellies a little bit of an outline. And just kind of define them a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of darken in some of these areas, especially in here because you want the teeth to kind of be prominent on the face. And then this also darkening it in right here is also going to allow you to fix any shapes that you made that you really don't like. So then just kind of creating some more wear lines right around there. Finally, I get to the fun part, blood. For me, I love it. It just is so much fun. I'm just kind of really getting my red a little bit more uh, watery and then I can just kind of put it right inside of here have it dripping as if he was mad and hungry and you can also get it wet enough that if you want to close your eye you can also so I just have it kind of dripping from the eye right inside of there and then also, if you wanted to add any blood around your stitches, you could always do that as well. Like it just kind of dripping down right there. And you see how fast and easy a design like this is for my half face monsters. The boys love it. Uh, again, using my arty cake makes my life so much easier because I don't have to worry about the shading and positioning as much. It's really just easy. So for those of you that are like looking for a half face monster, this is uh, an option for you. I hope you enjoyed it.